everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I just wanted to film an intro before. Um, and yeah, I have some pimples on my face because I'm breaking out because of the sun. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Everybody, so to start this routine, um, I use this cream. And I already put it on, as you can tell, like two times. And then I'm going to use this Tarte. Tart Quench Primer. Oh wow, why did it do that? Okay, hold on. There we go. That's way better. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in the back of my hand. I'm just gonna. Why am I? I just said hand. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the back of my hand and put it on my face. And basically, this has SPF, and it's just a good primer for long-lasting makeup if that's what you're going for and um i also love when my foundation or makeup just in general is matte because i don't know i just always like that look i don't really like dewy looks on my skin so i'm going to take this mattifying primer by 100 percent pure i'm just going to put that in the back of my hand we're just going to put that all over my face Sorry if there's background noise, my mom's talking on the phone to someone. But yeah. So that's how my face looks with it. And I'm just gonna add more. I normally put a lot of this on just because my makeup's always matte and everyone's always asking me how. And this is how. A ton of mattifying primer. I'm sure you can get like any mattifying primer. This is just the one that I use for my makeup to stay matte. But yeah, okay. So now I mix two foundations, and I use this Nude Illusion Foundation by Wander Beauty, and then I use this Fenty Foundation. So as you can tell, this is too dark for me, this is too light for me, so I mix it, it's a perfect shade. It's so hard to find my shade foundation. I don't know why. It's always been hard to find my shade foundation, because I have like an olive -y tinted skin, and I feel that both of these have that so when they mix together it's like my perfect shade okay so i'm just gonna mix this together and that's like my skin do you see how like olivey that is that's how i need my skin to be and i have some spots acne spots right now so don't mind that okay so I'm just gonna take this brush. like that and I'll sometimes put on concealer but I will for the sake of video and this is like a color corrector thing from Sephora and I use this under my eye and what I did was I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to do this but I mixed the color corrector with the concealer um, which is this I use this honey concealer use this honey concealer so I just mixed it in with that and I honestly find it so much better because it color corrects and it just becomes so much brighter under your eyes so I personally like that more I know some people bake but for me it just makes my face super cakey and I don't it doesn't really work for me that well so I just take the little spit and I don't really like powder that much because I find that like even if you add even if you don't bake and you just add some powder, I feel like your face just immediately gets so cakey and I just don't like it. So I'm just putting like on some. Not too much though. Like that. 
And then your skin should be fine, and I also just do it on my neck, right there. Look right here. Okay. Now, there's always some left, dude, did you see that? <laughs> okay, now, I always go in with my Anastasia contour, like bronzer type thing. I don't really, I consider this contour because I don't really find the point in bronzing when you can just contour, you know what I mean? This is definitely contour for me because it's a super dark shade on my skin. And you can totally see the difference, so. I don't really see the point in, like, bronzing my skin because I feel like any bronzer I get, it doesn't really show as a bronzer. So I just get, like, a super dark one. And I just use that as my contour, which is fine for me, honestly. So yeah, I just put on a bunch. And then I also put some on my cheek, like kind of like the leftovers, and also on my nose. Speaking of my nose, my nose is huge. So I'm going to take the contour and I'm going to go like this and like this. And then I'm also just going to put some on my eyeball. So it kind of like gives you like a summery vibe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my blush brush. And I use this Lovecraft Beauty shade. And I'm just putting this on my cheeks. And it's so nice. Like, it's so pretty on my skin. That. And I also put some on my nose. You can't not put anything on your nose, you know? Okay, cool. And then, highlighter time. Just gonna dab it on. And put on a little bit. Um, same with this, I don't like too much, and I don't like too much of my cheeks either, so I just literally put the tiniest bit. Sorry, there's noise going on outside. It's kind of irritating, but it's fine. And then for my eyebrows, I don't really do anything for my eyebrows. I sometimes fill them in, but today I'm not really feeling the filling them in part. So I'm just going to take some brow gel and just going to brush them up. That's my base. Now for our eyes. Um, I'm just going to take some mascara because I already put on the eyeshadow, which is literally all what all I do. So now I'm going to take Triple Shot XXL Mascara Ciate London. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm guessing that's how. But we're going to... Just put on a bunch of mascara. And I also like to kind of take it and then do like a wing. Then lipstick time. And so I also like after that's done I take some of my like gloss. It's not really a gloss, it's like a, a liquid chapstick. It looks really glossy, so then you're done. And you have your look. And you're good.